When an object is created, we can call a default function to automatically assign variables. This is called a constructor. Let's look at an example. I'm going to define a class drink class drink open curly braces make sure to close this curly brace with a semicolon and to define my constructor it has to be a public element so public and my constructor is going has to have the same name as my class so drink of open curly braces so it's it's similar to a function except that I don't define anything to do with data types and the name of the constructor has to be exactly the same name as the class and this constructor is going to receive a variable int v and I want to assign it to a private variable volume. So I'm going to define private int volume and when this constructor is called volume, my private variable volume is going to be equal to v. And I also want to calculate calories in my drink, so I'm going to declare a define a function void calc calories, and I want to I want it to print volume my drink times calories per volume and calories per volume I haven't defined it yet so I'm going to define it also as a private variable so int calories per volume equals 23 so I'm going to go to my main function remove this define the drink so I'm going to call my class drink and define my object my drink and I'm going to pass a initial value to my object upon creation which is going to be my volume let's say it's 100 and I want to calculate my then I want to calculate the number of calories in my drink so my drink with the dot notation I'm going to call a public function function calc calories and see how that goes my function ran I declared its volume to be 100 the constructor took the volume and assigned it to the private variable volume and we can see that if I just print print out the volume can see that change the volume to 150 and run that again you can see the constructor taking in the value upon object creation and assigning it to volume and then my public print statement calculating calories per volume times the volume and printing that out. In addition to constructors, there's also a method called a de destructor. So a destructor is the inverse of a constructor and basically when an object is deleted, it can run some functions. So for example, if I wanted to define a destructor, I use tilde drink so the destructor has to have the same name as drink but it starts off with a tilde I open curly braces and I just want to print out that 
this destructor was called. And what you'll see is when the program ends its run, it should call this right before automatically. So if I run this, this destructor was called. So basically just before this program ended, as it was deleting all objects and variables, the final step in the delet deletion of the object was a call to this destructor.